everybody would please stand. Will you please bow your heads with me and let us pray silently together, each one of us, according to our individual beliefs. As we gather here today in a time-honored tradition to celebrate our accomplishments, we thank you for getting us to this point and all of those who helped us along the way. Thank you for every heartache, disappointment, and mistake that brought us here. Now we ask for your wisdom as we transition from students to full-fledged nurses. Give us the courage and strength to walk a path that will be a blessing to others. Amen. Please be seated. Hello. Welcome, everyone. My name's Debbie Morgan. I'm the director of the Associate Degree Nursing Program at NEO. And it is my privilege and the privilege of our staff and faculty to welcome all of you here today uh, to the 45th annual pinning for the class of 2019. Yay! <laughs> I wanted to also thank Chad Weens for the invocation. Uh, <laughs> Looks like somebody else wanted to thank you too, Chad. <laughs> um, the pinning ceremony is probably one of the most important things to the, nursing, to the nursing students as they graduate. It's a time of reverence and one of the most meaningful, ev meaningful events because it's probably one of the last times this whole class will be together. Uh, pinning and the reception afterwards and of course graduation ceremonies tonight are all very important. Uh, but the students have put so much effort into being here. And I think you all probably understand that as family and spouses and children, um, the amount of effort it's taken for them to get to this point. So we celebrate all of you being here as well. Um, we're delighted you're here. Um, some students really value this, this part of the day more than anything because it's a time for reflection, to look back, but also, as Chad said, a time to really look ahead and what sees, what sees in your future. Uh, the NEO pin, if you'll look at your program, uh, was first developed by the registered nurse class in 1974. It's located in your program as a graphic that shows you all the different parts of the pin that they'll be receiving and what the, each description of the area represents. Um, some housekeeping, the first row is open for those family and friends that want to come down and take pictures when your graduate is being pinned. Uh, we, the, it will be videotaped and on the website and also professional photographs taken and available on the website for your graduate as well. Uh, I would also like to thank the NEO faculty and staff and any of our community members for our clinical facilities that are here. If you all would all stand, we'd like to thank you. So all of you, please stand. If you're, if you're a faculty, staff, or a clinical member. Thank you. And at this time, I'd like to introduce Dr. Jeffrey Hale, our president. Thank you, Debbie Morgan, very much. We are so blessed to have uh, Debbie as our leader of our nursing department for the last 15 years, and I just want you to help me recognize Miss Debbie Morgan here. Well, I too would like to welcome each and every one of you, especially family members here uh, to the campus of Northeastern Oklahoma A&M College. You know, this is the People's College of Northeast Oklahoma. We want you to know that you're always welcome on this campus, and it's an exciting day for us as part of the administration to be able to host this uh, pinning ceremony. For the last 45 years, the NEO nursing faculty have been educating, training, and preparing these students to enter the nursing profession. I've said it before and I've said it often, some of the hardest working students and faculty members anywhere on campus, any campus in the country, are NEO nursing students and nursing faculty. So help me thank the faculty that are here today. You know, we need that to be the case. Uh, we do not want our healthcare professionals to have a low bar. Uh, unlike many professions that are out there, the nursing profession, the medical profession, allied health, oftentimes results in life and death situations. So we need that to be a very rigorous exercise, which also makes me very, very proud of what is accomplished uh, on this campus. To the graduates that we will honor here in just a minute, congratulations on the wonderful achievement. 
Know that your college appreciates your hard work. We're honored to call you an alum after tonight's ceremony. And whatever you do, please understand this is not a finish line. As uh, disappointing as that may sound to you, uh, this is not a finish line for you. This is the beginning of uh, what I hope will be a lifelong uh, desire to learn and to achieve and to accomplish great things in your life. So let's hear it for our nursing uh, graduates that are here today. Yep. So my role is just to, and I have the great privilege to be able to introduce some of these nursing faculty to you. I want to start by introducing some senior administrators that are here today that do a ton of heavy lifting. They're good people. They're solid professionals. Uh, they care about your students on a daily basis. I'll introduce them as a group and then we'll recognize them uh, after they're done. And they're spread out through the audience here. So I'll just introduce those folks. But our Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Beth Ing Fonstock, please stand. Our Vice President for Business Affairs, Dr. Mark Racer. Mark, I think you're in the audience as well. Thank you for being here. Our Vice President for uh, Student Affairs, Ms. Amy Ishmael. Thank you, Amy, for the great work that you do. Our Assistant Vice President in Academic Affairs, uh, Mr. Dustin Grover. Dustin, thank you for your good work. And uh, my partner in education, the last 35 years we met in uh, public schools in Mustang, Oklahoma in 1985. We've been together ever since. She's uh, got 30 years of public education teaching experience. This is my 35th year. So combined 65 years, the first lady, Miss Donna Hale. Donna, thank you. So most of you probably know, I know the students know, but uh, we divide our faculty into first year nursing teachers and second year nursing teachers. Occasionally we have a couple of weirdos in there that we call hybrids because they do a little of both. <laughs> we spin them around and point them either in the first year direction or the second year direction on occasion and uh, we want to recognize all of those. So uh, first I want to introduce the first year nursing faculty this year, Miss Kathleen Norman. Kathleen, stand up, say hello. Also on the first year team, Miss Debbie Siegel. Debbie, please stand so we can recognize you. And Miss Julie Ogle. Julie? Yep. Here's the hybrid crowd. So they uh, draw duties, uh, both first and second year students during the course of the year. Miss Marsha Cleaver. Marsha, please stand so we can recognize you. And Miss Vicki Gardner. Vicki? Yep. I know this group is near and dear to the hearts of uh, the graduating students here today. They're the second year nursing students. They probably cursed them a time or two over the course of the year, but we're all here together under better circumstances today. Uh, Ms. Maline Froman, second year nursing instructor. Ms. Susan Panter, second year nursing instructor. And Ms. Cindy Brown, second year nursing instructor. Uh, here at NEO, we also have a fast track program, which is essentially one year. These students come in with pre-credentials that allow them to go through the curriculum and graduate in essentially a year's time. And Miss Jan Allen runs that program for us. Jan, thank you. And our building administrative assistant also is here today, Miss Dora De La Fuente. Dora, please stand. Mm -hmm. A couple of our clinical adjuncts are here with us today. I'd also like to rep represent uh, Ms. Carolyn Loper. Carolyn, you're with us here today. Thank you. And Ms. Derricka Dillon. Derricka, please stand where we can recognize you. So in closing, we are once again honored to have you here today. We're uh, especially grateful for the contributions you and family members have made over the years. Uh, getting students through a nursing curriculum and degree program truly does take a team effort. There's all kinds of support systems that must be in place to see this level of success. So help me thank uh, the parents that are in the audience. If you're a parent of one of our graduates today, would you stand? All the parents. Mm -hmm. Thank you, parents. And if you're a mom, please stand too. Sunday may be uh, the biggest day in the calendar year. It's Mom's Day. 
and I would be truly making a mistake if we didn't recognize the moms in the audience here today. So it's an honor for me to serve as president of this great institution. We're celebrating our 100th year in Miami, Oklahoma as an institution. Great things happen on this campus on a daily basis. I'm proud of our students, our faculty, and our staff. And once again, welcome to the nursing pinning. Thank you. I'd like to start out by saying my congratulations to the graduates. Uh, I've been in your seat before, so I know what kind of hard work it took for you to get here. And uh, all the support you've had from your family and friends and from our awesome nursing faculty and the support staff in the nursing department. So just congratulations. At this time, I would ask that the class of 2019 please stand and face the audience. These students have met the criteria for graduation and will receive their nursing pins today. <laughs> Debbie Siegel, nursing faculty, will be announcing the graduates as they prepare to enter the stage. We ask that the representatives of Integris Miami Hospital, Integris Grove Hospital, and the Gideons prepare. They're each uh, giving gifts to our students today, and we greatly appreciate their continued long-standing support for our nursing program, our nursing graduates, and to be here with us today to honor these graduates. Thank you very much. Okay, if the uh, nursing graduates uh, may be seated. And at this time, if we have any other representatives from our clinical sites or, or organizations that work with our nursing department, we'd like to recognize those as well. So if there's anyone here, please stand and we'd like to recognize you. We got some back there. Thank you for being here today. Okay, I think we're ready to start. I'm so excited. Are you guys excited? I have the opportunity to, and the privilege to be with these students uh, from day one. And I tell you that they're awesome and they're also intelligent. But not only are they the smartest people in the building, they also love people and they care about them. And to have a nurse that cares about you, that really cares, is something that's unique. We've all had nurses that's taken care of us, but boy, them special nurses are the ones that we know care about us and love us. So we got a lot of good, loving nurses. Okay. Congratulations to you. Sage Adcock. Sage is being pinned by her husband, Gabriel, and accompanied by her daughter, Eleanor. She would like to recognize the former NEO nursing graduate, her grandmother, Marsha Wolf, from 1983. Sage says, thank you to my family for the continuous love and support, especially my husband, Gabe, and my daughter, Eleanor. Sage would also like to thank Morgan Gibson for her friendship and the countless study hours, as well as the nursing instructors for their continuous support and hard work. Applause 
Liliana and Elise. Liliana is being pinned by Isaiah, accompanied by her mother, her Melinda, and Freddie, and Eric. Liliana would like to say thank you to her loving family, her friends, and to her dog for, en <laughs> for encouraging and supporting her throughout nursing school. I love you all, and I thank you for giving me the strength to succeed and become the woman I am today. <clears throat> I would not be here today if it weren't for your unending support and love through this journey. Josh Anderson. Josh is being pinned by Kelly Anderson, his wife, accompanied by Diana Jamison and Jackie Anderson. <coughs> He would like to recognize former NEO nursing graduates, Jackie Anderson, 1985 graduate, Diana Jamison, 2006 graduate. He said, thank you, God, for my family, my friends, for all their love and support. Thank you. <laughs> Whitney Bailey. Whitney is being pinned by her daughter, Dalen. Whitney would like to say, it took a village. Thank you, and it took an awesome village to get me through the past two years. She wants to thank everyone who helped her along the way and say thank you. <laughs> Jessica Baker. Jessica will be pinned by Braden and Avery, her children, accompanied by Sarah, her mother, and Tanya, her stepmom. She would like to say thank you to all my family and friends for helping me be able to make it through this journey called nursing school. I give a big thanks to our instructors for staying positive and always being there to lend a helping hand. Thank you to the High Noon Women's Business Club organization, and thank you to all the scholarships I received. Thank you all so much. <laughs> Slade Botts. Slade will be pinned by his mother, Terry Botts, R.E.N., accompanied by Haley Griffin. Slade said thank you to Sean and Terry, Halen, Haley and Russie, and my fellow classmates and all the nursing staff. <laughs> Lindsay Couch. Yay. She's being pinned by Barbara Couch. She says, thank you to my amazing family for their constant support and love, my wonderful friends for always cheering me on and believing in me, and for coffee, for being there on all, all the late nights and early mornings. I wouldn't be here without you. Thank you. <laughs> Hannah Dennison. Hannah is being pinned by Andy Dennison, her father, and Hanson, her son, accompanied by Trace Matthews. She would like to recognize former NEO nursing graduates, Trace Matthews from 2018 and Dakota Summerfield from 2018. <laughs> Hannah said, thank you to my dad for being my rock and support since day one. Thank you, Trace, for loving and supporting me even when I was extra grumpy. And Hanson for being my motivation and being patient while I was always doing homework or studying. 
Robin Erie. Robin is being pinned by Logan Erie. She would like to recognize former NEO nursing graduate Crystal Clark from 2017. Robin says, thank you to my parents, Alice and Robert, for their never ending support, to Nana and Heidi for their willingness to help me achieve my goals, to my best friend Megan for her constant encouragement, and mostly importantly, my son Logan, my heart, my life, and my reason for making all of this possible. Thank you. Jenna Ellis. <laughs> Jenna is being pinned by Blaine Lyons, her fiance. Jenna said, thank you to all my fellow classmates, to my family, my friends, and my work friends, and all the nursing instructors for their love and support. Katie Frost. <laughs> Katie is being pinned by Scarlett, her mother. She would like to recognize former NEO nursing graduates, Kara Robinson, 2018, Erica Lewis, 2017, Melissa Womack, 2009, Shelley Mullen, 2000, and Katie said, I would like to thank my family and friends for always being there and being supportive through this crazy journey called nursing school. <laughs> Morgan Gibson. Morgan is being pinned by her husband, Danny. She would like to recognize former NEO nursing graduate Amanda Burnett, 2006. Morgan says, thank you to my husband, Danny, for providing a continuous support of love, motivation, and Pepsi. Her <laughs> family for understanding why she has been isolated for the past two years related to studying. Thank you to Sage Adcock for being her study partner, a shoulder to cry on, and a best friend. There is no way I would have survived nursing school without any of them mentioned. I love you all and thank you. Heidi Ray Gilbert. <laughs> Heidi is being pinned by her husband, Tim. Heidi would like to thank her family. This was not for the faint of heart. We had many obstacles come between us during this journey, and yet we all stand, still stand, stronger than ever before. I can't wait to see what God has planned for us. We did it. This wouldn't have been made possible without all of you. My family, I thank you. <laughs> Valeria Gonzalez. <laughs> v 
Valeria will be pinned by Nayeli Gonzalez, her sister, accompanied by Ruben, Edith, Paula, and Karen. She would like to recognize former NEO nursing graduates, her sister Nayeli, 2018, Kier Robinson, 2018, and Valeria said, I would like to thank my family for always being extremely supportive and encouraging throughout the entire journey. My friends for being so flexible with my schedule and never once complaining. To the nursing instructors for being very helpful, especially Jan Allen, for allowing me to have mental nervous breakdowns in her office <laughs> after every test and never once complaining. From the bottom of my heart, thank you to everyone who has stood there by my side. We did it. Macy Hayes. <laughs> Macy is going to be pinned by Morgan Hayes, her sister, and she's accompanied by her mother, Holly Hayes. She would like to recognize former NEO nursing graduates, Allie Morton, Alyssa Nair, Riley Chenoweth, and Macy says, thank you to my friends and my family for encouragement and support and a special shout out to my fiance, Tucker, for loving me even when stress made me hateful. <laughs> Morgan Hayes is being pinned by Macy. Morgan would like to recognize Allie Morton, 2007 NEO nursing graduate, Alyssa Nair, 2017 graduate, and Riley Chenoweth, 2017 graduate. She says, thank you to my friends and my family for the endless support, love, and encouragement throughout this journey. <laughs> Glendia Hoover. Glendia is being pinned by Jeff Hoover, her husband, accompanied by Dory Custer, her best friend. She would like to say thank you to my husband, Jeff. Thank you for doing whatever it took for me to be able to succeed and for believing in me when I did not believe in myself. To my family, thank you for supporting and encouraging me throughout this journey. You guys are my inspiration and my motivation. Haley Howard. <laughs> Haley is being pinned by Stephen Howard, her husband, and her daughter, Kyrie. She would like to recognize former NEO nursing graduate, Christina Lawson, 2018. She said, I would like to thank my family for believing in me. I would like to thank my mom, Holly, and my in-laws, Donna and Lee, for taking care of Kyrie when I was swamped with assignments. And lastly, I'd like to thank my husband, Stephen, for always working so hard for our family, allowing me the time to focus on this nursing journey. Tyson Howard. Tyson is being pinned by Greta Howard, accompanied by Gary and Marcus Howard, his brother. He would like to recognize former NEO nursing graduate, Andrew Rickey, 2017. Tyson says, I would like to thank my family and friends for all of the support they have given me. Thank you to my fellow nursing students for sticking together to help one another stay motivated and to the staff for always being there to help us to get where we are today. Thank you. <laughs> Megan Sue Johnson. <laughs> Megan is being pinned by Pamela Johnson, her mother, accompanied by Steffi Lynn and her dad, and Josiah, her son. She would like to recognize former NEO nursing graduates, Pamela Johnson, 2003, Shelley Wallace, 2002, and she says, thank you to God, to my mama, 
to my daddy, to my son and my best friend who are all still here on the stage with me today. Without them accomplishing, this journey would have been impossible for me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you. <laughs> Jamie Renee Jones. <laughs> Jamie is being pinned by her son, Travis, and her daughter, Ashlyn. She said, thank you to my son, Travis. Thank you to my daughter, Ashlyn. Thank you to all my family and friends and all the NEO instructors. Thank you to my fellow classmates for all your love and support. <laughs> Katie Kaufman. Katie is being pinned by her mother, Leanne Kaufman, accompanied by Ted, her father, and Anna, her daughter, and her fiance, Michael. She would like to recognize former NEO nursing graduate, Sam Knight, 2018. And she said, thank you to my parents and my fiance, Michael, for being encouraging and so, so supportive that this would not have happened without you. Thank you to Anna for her creative artistic assistance on my homework to our instructors for some, being some of our biggest cheerleaders, and to my fellow classmates and friends for providing solidarity and excellent senses of humor. <laughs> Courtney Kerr. <laughs> Courtney is being pinned by Alyssa Phillips and accompanied by her family and her friends. She said, thank you so much to my parents for sacrificing so much of their time to help me get through these past two years. It was full of early mornings and long, long nights, but not once did they ever complain or refuse to help me. My boys for always being patient with me and understanding that this was all just temporary. And to my coworkers that have turned into my friends at work for all of the encouraging words. Whitney Lawson. <laughs> Whitney is being pinned by her father, Rich Lawson, accompanied by her mother, Louise. She said, I would like to say a huge thanks to my mom and dad for the endless support and encouragement. Thank you to my granddad for always helping me along the way. Thank you to Laura and Paige for enduring the tough times. The ride is finally over.
Elizabeth Lowe. Elizabeth is being pinned by Lisa Deese, RNBSN. She's accompanied by her daughter, Noelle Gamble. Elizabeth, wow. She would like to thank her daughters, Carly and Noelle, for their continued support. Thank you to my sister, Rebecca, and all of the rest of my family and dear friends that are here today. And thank the Lord for leading us down this path. Taylor Lepardis. <laughs> Taylor is being pinned by Kim, her mother, accompanied by Thaddeus Toll, her husband, and her father, Eric. She said, thank you to my parents for being incredibly encouraging and helping our family function during clinical days and for showing true unconditional love. This was a group effort and it would not have been possible without them. My husband, we joined the nursing program together, we got married, and now we get to graduate together. We get to do what we love to do together and share our talents with the world. You inspire me, support me, and encourage me. Thank you. <laughs> Thaddeus Toll, being pinned by Terry, accompanied by Taylor, his wife, Terry, his mom, and Herb Pruitt, his grandfather. Thad would like to say thank you to my precious wife, Taylor, for her continued support through some of the toughest times of my life and all through nursing school. Thank you to my mom for always believing in me and supporting me no matter what I do. Thank you to my grandma and my grandpa for always pushing me to be better, to learn more, and helping me any, with any and everything that they could. Thank you. Nicole Mango. Nicole is being pinned by her mom, Kendra Cummins, accompanied by her dad, Brian, her grandpa, Glenn, her brother, brothers, Tyler and Lincoln. She would like to recognize former nursing NEO graduates, Kara Robinson, 2018, B. Greaves, 2018. And she said, thank you to my parents, Brian and Kendra, to my grandpa, to Glenn, my boyfriend, Travis, and the rest of my family and friends who have served as mentors, teachers, and guides. I truly couldn't have done it without your constant support from all of you. So thank you again for being here when I needed you the most, and I love you all. Hayden Matthews. Hayden is being pinned by Alexis Matthews, accompanied by Randy and Deborah Matthews. Anna McCord. <laughs> Anna is being pinned by her mother, Velma White. She said, thank you to my mom for being my biggest supporter always. Thank you to my family and friends for having my back all the way through these last two years. Thank you to my husband for serving our country and for always consoling me during the lows, but also celebrating with me during the highs. I love you all so much. Vicki Medina. Vicki is being pinned by Alicia Perez, accompanied by Miguel Perez, Eduardo, and her children. She would like to recognize former NEO nursing graduates, Crystal Clark, 2017. She says, thank you to my family for all their amazing support and love during this time. I love you guys. <clears throat> Mar 
Myla Miller. Myla is being pinned by her dad, Scott, accompanied by her brother, Ty. She would like to recognize former NEO nursing graduate and her mentor, Haley Silva, 2018 graduate, and she says, thank you to my family for supporting me through the last two years and pushing me to accomplish my dreams. Donnie, thank you for listening to my rants and my breakdowns and believing in me throughout this journey. I love you all. Holly Pippen. Holly is being pinned by Colin McDaniel, accompanied by her daughter, Kennedy. She would like to say thank you to God for guidance and success, as well as to my daughter, my fiance, and to my family for the constant motivation and support. Thank you. Riley Prophet. <laughs> Riley is being pinned by Mary Prophet, accompanied by Craig and Mary and Joshua Poole. Riley says, thank you to my family for all of the love and support you've given me, and a special thanks to Joshua for riding the highs and the lows with me and keeping me positive. I love you all. Thank you. Nikki Rhodes. <laughs> Nikki is being pinned by her husband, Eric Roberts, accompanied by her daughter, Bentley, and her son, Brian. She would like to recognize former NEO nursing graduates, Beva Rogers, 1979, her grandma, Cherry Rogers, 1994, Kiera Robinson, 2018. She says, thank you to my family for their unconditional love and support, and to Kiera Robinson for all of her words and her encouragement and friendship. Shaylin Rogers. Shaylin is being pinned by Tristan Chapman. He's accompanied by John Rogers and Dusty Rogers. He would like to thank his family and his friends, all of his teachers and peers, and everyone who helped me along this way. Thank you. Katie Ross. <laughs> Katie is being pinned by her mom, Catherine Ross, accompanied by her boyfriend, Chance, and her son, Jackson. 
She would like to thank her family, her boyfriend, and her friends for supporting her through the past two years of this intense and emotional but rewarding experience. And thank you, Mom, for introducing me to nursing, for giving me advice and all the knowledge about everything in nursing. Thank you. Briley Rush. Briley is being pinned by Alice Novak and accompanied by Becky and Keith. She would like to thank her family and nursing school friends for pushing me to always do my very best and never giving up on me. I would also like to thank Colby for always being there when I needed it. I appreciate and love you all. Thank you. Linnea Sky, <laughs> Linnea is being pinned by Bill Sky, accompanied by Andrea Walker Sky. Linnea says, "Thank you, God, for guiding me through this journey. Thank you to my family and my friends for believing in me from the start, and to Nikki for taking me under her wing and helping me every step of the way." I love you. <laughs> Alicia Smalley. <laughs> Alicia is being pinned by her son Thatcher and accompanied by Kina, Kingston, Kinnan. <laughs> and she would like to recognize former NEO nursing graduate. Donna Smalley, 1987. She said, thank you to my family for supporting me through this journey. Thank you to my fellow students and to my instructors. <laughs> Maddie Vernon. <laughs> Maddie is being pinned by Ben Vernon. She would like to say thank you to my husband for wiping away the tears and always believing in me, even when I didn't believe in myself. Thank you to the nursing class of 2019. I'm thankful and honored to have been on this journey with you all. I love you. Grace Folkman. Grace is being pinned by her mother, Paula, accompanied by her parents, Matt and Paula. She would like to recognize former NEO nursing graduate, Lexi LaValle, 2016. She says, thank you to all of my family and my friends for the endless love and support throughout this crazy thing called a nursing school. <laughs> Meg Whited. Meg is being pinned by Laura Krieger. Meg says, thank you so much to David and Ruth, Ryan, the Bourne family, to Darla and Beth Lowe, to Suzanne's Natural Family Foods, and to her chosen family. The greatest thank you to Laura, who is an eternal rock, a biggest advocate, a loving best friend, and a sister in all things. Thank you. Chad Weems. <laughs> Chad is being pinned by his mother, Vicki, accompanied by his father, Steve. Chad says, thank you to my family, to my classmates, and to all the instructors. Without everyone's help and motivation, I would not be here on this stage today. Thank you all. Blake Wilson. Yeah. 
Blake is being pinned by Jensen, his wife, accompanied by Carter and Briggs. And Blake says, thank you to my family, to my wife, for being so supportive, and to all my fellow students that have helped me along the way. <laughs> thank you. Debbie Morgan will now provide the reading of the Florence Nightingale Pledge, which is the nursing adaptation of the Hippocratic Oath taken by physicians. Congratulations, class of 2019. <laughs> will the nursing class please stand and face the audience for the reading of the pledge. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to pass my life in purity and to practice my profession faithfully. I will abstain from whatever is deleterious and mischievous and will not take or knowingly administer any harmful drug. I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession and will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and all family affairs coming to my knowledge in the practice of my calling. With loyalty will I endeavor to aid the physician in his work and devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care. Do you accept this pledge? I do. Please be seated, graduates. Here, the nursing faculty and administration recognize students for outstanding accomplishments during the year or during the nursing program. So it is this time that we will be recognizing students in various categories. As I call your name, please come to the stage. The first award that we recognize is the Outstanding Academic Performance, which is based upon the grade point average in the nursing courses. This year, the recipient of this award is Morgan Gibson. she's telling her there's a check that comes along with this. <laughs> Our next award is the Outstanding Graduate Student for their overall performance and dedication to the program, peers, and the profession. The recipient for the 2019 Outstanding Graduate Student Award is Morgan Gibson. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Each year, the faculty recognize students for excellence in, clin in clinical performance. The Clinical Nursing Awards are presented to two students this year. The first one is Madison Vernon. for clinical nursing, it goes to Myla Miller. there is an award for the student leadership. This is based upon performance. Demonstrating the leadership is not a single act, but a habit. Again, we have two recipients for this award. The first award goes to Chad Weens. <laughs> recipient of the Student Leadership Award is Nikki Rhodes. Okay, the final award today is a chosen by the class of peers as the person who displays professionalism, a caring attitude, and overall nursing skills demonstrating what a nurse represents. The Nursing Representative Student Award honor goes to Nikki Rhodes. Congratulations to the, all the award recipients. At this time, the nursing faculty have some additional honors that they would like to recognize. Each year, the faculty of the NEO nursing program present our students with a quote by a, a gentleman that we had the pleasure of doing an in-service with, Dr. Mark Taylor. And the quote goes, those who do the work do the learning. In the spirit of that quote, we as instructors have encouraged our students to work diligently on something that we call the VADI Review Program, which is an innovative online partnership that prepares our nursing students for NCLEX success. As instructors, we realize that passing this program courses and getting your degree from NEO is not enough. We must encourage and push you to gain those ever important credentials of RN. Therefore, we have chosen to utilize available funds to award those students who have pushed themselves and have completed the VADI review program and received something that we call the green light prior to graduation. 
So as I read your name, if you will come up to the stage and remain on stage so we can get a picture of all of you together. The first recipient is Sage Adcock. <laughs> Hannah Dennison. Morgan Gibson. Nikki Rhodes. And we actually had a late entry into this. Uh, we were just notified that one of our students also received her green light, um, but we were not able to get a certificate printed for her in time because we found out as we were standing over here getting ready to come in. So I would also like to recognize Ms. Glendia Hoover. The NEO Nursing Peer Mentoring Program was developed in the fall of 2007. It was recognized that nursing students endure many stressors while attempting to complete their goal of becoming a nurse. An additional support, such as a mentor, has been provided to our students to aid in their success of the rigorous nursing education curriculum. Peer mentoring is a relationship that is aimed at achieving goals that involves a second year student and a first year student. The second year student provides emotional support, career assistance, and role modeling to our first year students. The qualities of being a good mentor include being genuine and supportive, being generous of yourself and being accessible, being an active listener, being self-confident and competent, being open to the peer mentoring relationship, being a good role model and a good leader. At this time, I'd like to recognize those mentors who exemplify qualities with this special award. These students have been com commented and, uh, and identified by their uh, peers as having wonderful qualities of a great leader. And so as I call your name, if you would just stand in place, I do have an award for each one of you, but I just want to make sure that um, because of time and because of trying to get out of the rows that you guys just stand still and be recognized, okay? So um, our first one that was recognized by their mentee was Whitney Bailey. <laughs> Jessica Baker. <laughs> Lindsay Couch. <laughs> Hannah Dennison. Jenna Ellis, Katie Frost, Morgan Gibson, Glendia Hoover, Jamie Jones, Katie Kaufman, Nicole Mangold, Anna McCord, Myla Miller, Holly Pippen, Nikki Rhodes, Chaylin Rogers, Briley Rush, and Grace Volkman. So thank you guys for being a great support to our first year students. We really appreciate it. And after the program, if you guys will come up, I'd like to give you your certificates and get a picture of you guys. Thank you. My name is Marcia Cleaver, and I have had the privilege to serve as the faculty sponsor, along with Kathleen Norman, for our local chapter of the National Student Nurses Association. 
Some of our nursing students choose to become members of the NSA, NA, which provides them with opportunities for development of professionalism as they work toward uh, their RN licensure. Today, we want to recognize our NSNA members. As I call your names, please stand and remain standing. At the conclusion of the ceremony, please come to the stage for a group picture. And uh, we also want to present you with cords uh, after the ceremony uh, that you can wear this uh, during graduation as a part of your graduation uh, regalia. So I will call your names, Chad Weens. He, he has served as our local NSA chapter president. Madison Vernon has served as our local NSA vice president. Maddie also serves as the Northeastern representative of the nominations and elections committee for the Oklahoma Nursing Association, Nursing Student Association. Jennifer Nikki Rhodes, she has served as our local NSA secretary. Elizabeth Lowe has served as our local NSA treasurer. Lindsay Couch is currently the Community Service Projects Director for the Oklahoma Nursing Student Association. Uh, Whitney Bailey, Hannah Dennison, Whitney Lawson, Anna McCord, and Myla Miller are all members. Give them all a hand. We want to thank each of these students who spent many hours that they really didn't have because here they are in nursing school and taking all their time and they took their spare time to serve uh, during school, planning and organizing all sorts of local and community activities. So thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I know you're probably ready to go to the reception at this point. Um, after the benediction, would you please be seated momentarily as the ushers assist the dignitaries and the graduates from, uh, with the recessional. Uh, visitors may exit after the students and have been escorted from the auditorium. Uh, please don't forget the reception over in the student union ballroom. You're all invited to attend. And of course, commencement exercises tonight. Dr. Hale, it's outside? Yes. Okay, at Red Robertson Field at 7 p.m. Uh, and at this time, Chad, would you come up for the benediction? <laughs> if I can find it. Uh oh. Huh? Oh, there it is. <laughs> if everybody would join me for just a moment of silence. As we conclude this ceremony, we now ask that you guide our minds to focus only on the things that matter, remove the meaningless distractions that exist, guide our hands as we care for your people. Allow us to set our own selfish desires, judgments, and preconceived notions aside so that we can do the work that we are called to do. Give us the ability to improve the lives of those we meet through the care and attention they deserve. Finally, we pray that you will give us the direction, purpose, and perseverance as we enter this next phase of our lives. Amen. Thank you. 